Welcome to Introduction to Scriptable Objects and the Asset Database. Throughout this course, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to utilize something new um, called a scriptable object. So if we actually look at this particular My Class script that we have here, all right, uh, what you'll see is that we're actually not extending from Mono Behavior. We're not extending from Editor or Editor Window. We're actually extending from Scriptable Object. And this allows us to basically create an object that doesn't have to be tied to a game object like we usually do inside of the hierarchy view. So create empty, and then you drag your script up onto the object because it's mono behavior, right? Well, scriptable objects allow us to actually create these scripts that don't actually have to be attached to a particular object. And now once we do that, what we can do is we can save them out to an actual asset. All right, so this asset right here allows us then to store data. We can actually write data to it. And why is this actually useful? Well, when we are creating tools uh, for designers uh, or artists, and let's say they are going through the game and they're setting a whole bunch of different properties, right? and they forgot to unhit play and let's say they've changed maybe 20 properties well when they go out or exit play mode basically all their changes are going to be reset back to their original value when you hurt when they first hit the play button well when we use scriptable objects with the asset database we can change values over here all right so i'm changing the color i can put in new text and say hi game all right and once I do that and come out of play mode, you'll notice that all the values actually retained their values. So they persisted between the different modes that the editor goes through. All right, so basically if I were to create a new c -sharp script called test script, <clears throat> just to demonstrate this even further and open up this script inside of MonoDevelop here. And let's say I have a public float called my float and it's equal to 10 right now all right so I come out here create a new game object all right and I put that test script onto that object well I can set the value here but I'm not in play mode if I were to go into play mode and move the value around and then exit out of play mode you can see it goes back to 20 whereas if I use a scriptable object and asset database structure when I go to play mode and I change any value it actually persists through the modes all right so that's what we're going to learn throughout this course um, just how to get that set up because it's a little abstract um, but it's actually quite easy to get set up and it won't take too long we'll just learn a, a couple of new things okay thanks so much